Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the lessons on Sweet Faith Book 1. Inshallah, today we'll be covering, uh, we're still in chapter 2 and we're covering lesson 8. The dua is, A'udhu bika min sharri ma sana'atu. We're in this section of the dua where it says, A'udhu bika min sharri ma sana'atu. And I seek refuge in you from the evil I have done. So we will explain this dua insha'Allah more in detail. In this section of the dua. A'udhu bika bin sharni ma sana'atu. I seek refuge with you from all the evil I have done. What does the word seek mean? Seek means when you want something, I seek and you really desire and you really, really want something and you you want, here we say, you want Allah's protection. You want refuge. Refuge, the word might remind you of the word refugee. So refugee is someone who is in need of protection, who's running away from danger, needs uh, shelter, wants to survive. So this is the state that a person, how the person should feel when he's seeking refuge uh, with, Allah, with Allah. A'udhu or isti'adha, we know isti'adha is a form of worship that should only be done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sake. So you seek refuge with Allah. It's you with you or Allah. Why we seek refuge in Allah alone? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who can pr protect us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has the knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who knows what's in in the heavens and the earth, he knows the past and the present. He knows what is apparent to us, alim al wa shahad. He knows what is hidden from us and what is apparent uh, to us. So we seek refuge. And I wonder what the danger that we are seeking refuge from is. And it's no other than from the evil that we have done, the sins that we have committed. And the word evil is used here because the sins that we commit in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are evil and they are corruption. And by doing that, we destroy ourselves, we destroy our, 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 our health, we destroy our families. So when a person is committing sins, then he's number one oppressing himself, then he's oppressing uh, others. So this danger, uh, danger of the sins that a person commits is very, it has a, a very, um, serious outcome which could mean that the person will be imprisoned in hellfire for for many many years so this is the consequence of the evil that we we we, we commit <coughs> so we should always ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us but the evil that people commit there's many sins that people commit today they're, they're fornicating they they're eating haram they're cheating they're lying they're living their lives by destroying themselves and taking away the happiness from, the, from, from themselves. And we know that shaitan is their role model because shaitan destroyed himself first and then he made a goal to destroy and take as many people as he can uh, to hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a clip of on, uh, an image of what will happen on the Day of Judgment. When Shaitan will say, or oh, وقال الشيطان لما قضي الأمر إن الله وعدكم وعد الحق ووعدتكم فأخلفتكم وما كان لي عليكم من سلطان إلا أن دعوتكم فاستجبتم لي فلا تلوموا لي ولوموا أنفسكم ما أنا بمصرخكم وما أنتم بمصرخي إني كفرت بما أشرتموني من قبل إن الظالمين لهم عذاب أليم you know that on the Day of Judgment, Shaitan would say when everything is concluded, the matter has been settled. He would say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised you a true promise. And I promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no authority over you. All I did was invite you. And you responded and you accepted my invitation. Today, you cannot avail me and I cannot avail you. You cannot aid me and I cannot aid you. I disassociate myself with the shirk that you have committed with me. 
and today there is severe punishment for the oppressors. So we have to remember that even Shaitan told us and the Quran tells us very clearly that on the Day of Judgment we cannot blame anybody else for the consequence of our, our decisions. We on the Day of Judgment, we're gonna have, people are going to be blaming themselves and as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says مَنْ أَبْطَعَ بِهِ عَمَلُ لَمْ يُسْرِعْ بِهِ نَسَلُ That when a person is left behind because of his amal or his deeds then his lineage will not bring him forward and also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us فَلَا تَلُومَنَّ إِلَّا نَفْسَكَ Do not blame except yourself so we have to assess our own uh, our lives and see where we are committing these sins and how we are pressing ourselves and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also calls us in the Quran he says قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Oh my slaves who have transgressed against themselves do not lose hope in Allah's uh, mercy and what, what we can see the wording here it says those who have wasted and transgressed against themselves so we waste our time by, by committing sins, we waste a lot of our energy, we could be earning the highest levels in paradise. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us uh, protected, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right path. Mubarakallah